Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and I hope you enjoyed the new intro, but we have another West Coast Racers update and you can see the perimeter fencing is completely gone uh, from where the go-karts were. Also, they are doing some extra digging near the station area. The grading is finished, by the way, for this. We will get a better shot of that later. But here you can see uh, some more of the fencing that has been taken out, which is awesome to see. Uh, it's pretty bare actually, but if you can see these three individuals, they are part of the construction management team, I believe, and they are working on the soundtrack for the area, at least the sound system uh, at the moment. I don't think these are the same people that wrote the soundtrack, but regardless, it is getting a custom soundtrack, and I believe it's by the same people who did the Scream Punk District, so I expect a great soundtrack, honestly, for the area. Here's another overhead shot of just what the area looks like. You can see that pretty much all the grading is finished. You can also see some of the, the rain damage that has been happening from the past you know week or so where we've been getting some heavy rains. But there are more equipment inside the go-kart tracks. They are still digging out more footer holes, which is great news because they are going to need a lot of footer holes in all honesty with the double helix section of the ride. But honestly, this whole area is kind of looking more and more bare, which is a great sign. But you can see in this trench, they've kind of packed it full of dirt kind of quickly, it seems. I'm guessing that might have been to stop some water damage possibly happen. You can see uh, on the edge there, some water has gotten through. But here's another look at the go-karts again, uh, just looking at everything. I'm really interested to see what they're doing with that trench that we've been seeing the past couple weeks or so. Uh, what it's exactly for, considering they've just packed it full of dirt, um, kind of hastily it seems. But they do have construction tape all around those footer markers in the go-karts. And here you can see that grading has been completely finished. Uh, there were survey lasers out during the day, but on that lower end, that is going to be where the station is going to be because they will need that extra couple of feet below the track, of course. So that is where the station is going to be. And the rest of it is going to be just the asphalt and the queue. Now here's just a quick little update. There is a new like barrier for returning guests as well as uh, priority guests at the front entrance and they've roped it all the way to the tree. So you now have to walk all the way around the tree to get to the exit. So kind of stinks, but regardless, I'm very excited to see where this ride can be in another week or so. But there is a rumor going around that the track has been delayed. Um, so the track and supports are supposedly being made in Italy because of Steel Curtain being such a massive project. They had to take it from Intermountain Lift and go to their secondary factory in Italy. This could be the main cause. Uh, the factory in Italy actually made the track to Gale Force, if that gives you any idea. They also did Tigris, but Tigris is now finished. But shipping track from Italy is a huge task. I mean, they might have to go all the way through the Panama Canal up to California, and that could take weeks. Um, even if they get to the East Coast and then drive it across country, that still will take a very, very long time. Probably a little quicker than going through the Panama Canal, but you never know. I really don't know these things. So, But that could be one major reason that we have not seen track yet, uh, and I, I feel like they're just waiting for it now. Um, and it hopefully is on its way, considering Tigris is completely finished, at least with track work. So it's pretty exciting to see where this site could be in a couple weeks, though. And I can't wait to see support show up as well as just footers in general. So hopefully we'll be seeing footers in general very, very soon and then supports very soon after. So thank you for watching. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next ride.